assalamu alaikum boys and girls how are you all i hope you all are doing good so today i'm going to tell you the story of prophet musa alayhi salam and in this story i will tell you about his early life prophet musa alayhi salam was born in egypt in a family of bani israel at that time egypt was ruled by pharaohs which are also called pharaoh pharaoh had taken all the people of bani israel as his slaves He made thing he made them do very difficult work lifting heavy weights making tall buildings and other things like that he was a very cruel king on top of all this labor he started killing his sons he would kill newborn boys one year and spare them the next year the year in which prophet musa was born was the year when pharaoh was killing newborn boys allah put a thought in prophet musa's mother that she should put her newborn baby in a basket and put the basket in the river and just let it go musa's mother did as she was told but as soon as she put her baby in the river she got restless of course she did get restless and told her daughter to follow her brother along the river side the basket reached pharaoh's palace and his wife picked up the baby Allah put love in her heart for baby Musa and she forced her husband to keep the baby as her own. This way Allah saved Musa and his very enemy took him under his protection. Initially the baby would not stop crying and drink any milk. Then Musa's sister came to the queen and told her that she knew a family who will take very good care of the baby. This way Allah united Musa alayhi salam with his mother and his was his mother who eventually took care of her. of him as musa alayhi salam was growing up he learned a lot of skills musa alayhi salam grew up to be a very strong man one day musa alayhi salam was in the city and he saw two men fighting one of them was from bani israel and the other one was from pharaoh's people musa alayhi salam helped his fellow man and punched the other man oh no since musa alayhi salam was a really strong man one punch killed that man As soon as this man died Musa alayhi salam realized what he had done and repented to Allah for his actions. Allah forgave him. The next day Musa alayhi salam came to the city and a man came running to him and told him that Pharaoh knows that Musa had killed one of his men and was looking for him. Musa alayhi salam got really worried and left the city quickly and set out to go away from Egypt. After traveling for many days he reached a village where he saw a well. Many one were gathered there and they were feeding their sheep. There in the corner Musa alayhi salam saw two girls standing waiting for their turn. Musa alayhi salam went to the girls and helped them by getting water from them. Then Musa alayhi salam without asking for anything in return came towards the tree and sat down. There he prayed to Allah for help. Allah accepted his prayer and Musa alayhi salam saw one of the girls coming towards him. The girl asked Musa alayhi salam to come with her to their father who will pay him for what he had helped them with. Musa alayhi salam followed the girl to the house and there he met her father. Some say that her father was Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam told him about his situation and about Pharaoh. The girl's father said that this land was not ruled by Pharaoh and Musa could live here peacefully for as long as he wanted. He offered Musa alayhi salam to marry one of his daughters and live there for about 8 years. Musa accepted his offer and started living there. So this was about his early life. The story of Prophet Musa is very interesting and I will be telling you about more in my next videos. I hope you enjoyed this much. Take care of yourself guys. I'll see you in the next video. Fi amanillah.